What's goody? It's your boy and I'm back with another banging video and today I got a special one for y'all and I feel like this is like one of the biggest most monumental videos because it's been a big debate as for me. I know to y'all, y'all don't even want to hear that. There's no debate but this is the thing that makes him stand out. I feel like Jordan is a better defender than LeBron. So with that being said, today we're checking out Jordan defensive highlights. I know it's a special day for y'all because, like, honestly, that's the one thing throughout the other highlights I've been seeing. Yeah, man, his defense are crazy. So this is a video solely tuning into his defense. And I appreciate you if you're new to the channel. Do me two big favors. Like and subscribe. Hit the post. Oh, you can hit the post notification bell also. That's three things. But, no, that doesn't matter. Two things. Like the video. By liking the video, the way the YouTube algorithm breaks, YouTube will show the video to more people. You're directly helping me to grow. I would really appreciate that. You're going to help me to do great things. But also subscribe. Because by subscribing, you feel me? I'm trying to get the hundreds of thousands of subs up subscribers. And you're just helping me get close to that goal. Everyone subscribe accounts. But with that being said, we're not even going to hold y'all. I'm not even going to hold y'all any longer. We're going to jump into it and we're going to peep out. Peep this out. We're going to peep game. And don't get me wrong. They're both good defenders. But we got to peep out the difference. Because it's just Jordan got a different type of everything to him. His athleticism, his aura, his everything. So let's just check out these highlights, guys. I'm not going to hold y'all no longer. Let's get it. I learned a lot of defensive fundamentals at the University of North Carolina, and I'm trying to excel as a defensive player. I think with all the scoring that I've been doing this year, my, ski, my defense has been overlooked. Uh, hopefully in the years to come, I won't be called upon to lead the league in scoring or to score as many as I score. Then my overall game will start to get the exposure that it deserves. Concentration, left hand down for the low pass, right hand up to challenge the shot or the overhead pass. Hand in the face. Then you got the clamps on him. Whoa. Oh, snap. He just clamped both of them boys. That was great timing. I'm dying a lot. That was just great timing. His timing was different. Snatch that thing out the air. Post defense. Post defense playing a guard. And here comes Michael Jordan. Jordan's third steal tonight. Of course, he's third in the league. That'll go. Mm. Can't do nothing about that fast break. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, look at him there. Daly. That's about his sixth or seventh steal. Complete player. He plays both ends of the floor. And he just demonstrated there by playing the pass and basket here in three and a half minutes. What a finish. Third quarter action. Three from way outside. Picked off by Joy. And no one's gonna catch it. There's no love in the past lanes. Underneath he feeds the ball to Hinson. His shot. Get that weak. Top of the circle. Right side Andrew Tony. Here's a pass stolen by Works left around a McCormick screen. Here's Jordan stealing the ball. Michael Jordan. Yo. He was vicious in the past lanes, bro. <laughs> he snatched it out the air. It wasn't just pass lanes. It wasn't just pass lanes. Jordan comes out of nowhere to block the shot. Three block shots. Ooh, he saved it. Jordan leads his team and steals behind the back to Oakley. Michael Jordan. Good matchup there. Two power forward deluxe. Pass in deep. Michael Jordan the steal. Has it now. Turns left of the lane. In the lane. Jordan strips the ball. Ooh. Over the top. They play it to Malone. Back to Green. Now, here's Jordan. Another steal. Michael a breakaway. Yeah. 42 for Jordan. Dang. The Bulls have the lead. Come on, come on. Wilkins lost it. Jordan. <sighs> he was harassed? And he finished it. On Patrick Ewing, boy. Lob into 
Hart right down low, lost the ball, Jordan will steal. To him in that rookie matchup, 12 to shoot. Kenny Walker, Pat Neal, Jordan will steal. I, I don't even think about Ray. Ray. The play. The play, the that timing is crazy. He, he got some really fast hands. Hmm. Woo, okay. I got a couple of things to say. And then we're going to jump back into it. For one, as a 6-6 six, six, shooting guard to be the passing lanes is insane don't get me wrong but I, honestly like that's a given for a shooting guard right that's a given but in the polls one of the at one point they said he had three blocks in one of those games when he blocked Akeem Olajuwon bro he's in the post blocking big men like like he's a big so not only can he clamp a person up playing on ball, he's in the pass lanes like a nightmare. And then he'll glass something or like just jump up with crazy athleticism and block a seven footer. Bro, complete as a defender also. And people want to hate. I understand that other people like LeBron. LeBron who? He's 6'10". 6'9". He better play some defense and he still don't sometimes. That's what pisses me off about it. So today we're going to get on that. Like, not to be the player he is, you know what I'm saying? To be the scorer he is, I feel like it definitely outshadows his defense. It always did, and it still does today, in my opinion. His defense is insane, bro. To be able to be a three-level defender as a shooting guard, to play point guard if you wanted to, defend five positions, no matter how tall the defender is, no matter how tall the person you are, I mean, the person you're defending is, like, you still on him. It can be a seven-footer. It doesn't matter. You'll still get a block, a stop. And he'll steal it from him, too. His timing is, like, unhuman. Like, it's crazy. His timing is, like, too precise. But what else do we expect from the GOAT, right? Um, That's one other thing I wanted to talk about. And that was, that was just this segment I was listening to just on my own time. You know, I'll be listening to basketball stuff all the time. That's why I'll be telling y'all some of these videos. I don't mind. Like, we we going to watch a lot of these highlights a lot because I'm a big basketball fan. And I don't mind watching it. I don't mind. Like, if it's something new within the video, we'll, we'll be finding it. Um, But, yeah, back to one thing. I think I just, it was the glove saying this. It was um Gary Payton, if I'm not mistaken, saying this. He was like, somebody was saying that Scottie Pippen was a better defender than Jordan. And that kind of started a case. And I was thinking about that. And I was like, it's debatable when you think about it. But honestly, when you really use logic, no, it was Gilbert Arenas saying this, not the glove. When you really use logic, it just makes sense that on ball, Scottie Pippen was a terror. He was possibly, yes, a good bit better than Jordan as an on-ball defender. He was like nasty 6'9". He could defend some of those longer guys. He can completely shut a person down. But I'm talking about roaming. There's different qualities of defense. There's different things you can be good at. You can be good at on-ball and off-ball defense. Don't get me wrong. Jordan was a GOAT at roaming. You see how he's getting those blocks? You see how he's coming from the other side and stealing the ball in the pass lane because he's just roaming. We put him on a weaker defender. We, not, I mean, a weaker offensive player, so we can have him playing help defense everywhere and doing stuff like this. That's what he was good at, and that's the difference between him and Scotty. Scotty would probably lock a man down on ball, but John will lock a man down on ball, right? But he was just so good at roaming. Why put him on ball when he can he can get blocks on seven footers? When he could hit the pass lane all the way from the, the left side when he was on the right. You know what I'm saying? He was a different level of defender. And also he gets blocks on seven footers and bigs and glasses peoples. He steals it from them too. Pure, complete defender. He wouldn't have won the year that he won like defensive MVP. You know what I'm saying? That it wouldn't be years like that if he wasn't complete as a player. And honestly, when it comes down to LeBron, bro, that's the biggest knock because 
that defense is something he's always been lacking. Now he can. He can be a sensational defender. He just lacks on that. He knows he's a superstar. He he actually lowers the motor and rests on defense a lot of the time. Especially now. Not in his younger days, but now. And that pisses me off. So that really gives Giants a lot of a lot of up on him. I'm not gonna lie. Let's jump back into it. Boy, I heard that block. Boy, what the Michael George, one of the leaders of the Logan Steelers. Break away, he'll take it to the hole. He'll buy a deuce. Big game. Bro, look at the timing is freaking insane. He grabs passes out the air. Chicago by eight. That's matches up. Jordan Steel. Now this is a good move by Isaiah. Give him a little move, no move. Another move. Take, 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 take. Now you go. But look how quickly the recovery though. Oh, he's quick. Oh, he doing Isaiah bad. <laughs> oh, with the beautiful fillet. Boy, Jordan would harass them boys on defense. Wing to hot rod into Sanders. He fakes the shot block grab by Jordan. Jordan gonna blow it all the way to the other end. Drives and Doherty grabbed him. <laughs> Once he gets it and go the other way, it's nothing you can do. Does a great job to get Paxton out of position. Crossover dribble. Drives right by Oakley, but Michael Thomas. Oh my goodness. Send that to the second row. Another one. Yo, he get a lot more blocks than they give him credit for. And I, I'm still in the end one with the block. That vertical helped him with all those blocks, bro. His insane vertical. He gets to him. Yo. The top. Mm -mm -mm. His timing is unmatched. Oh my goodness, he harassing these guys. There's nothing past lanes, nothing. On ball, he was nasty too. The pocket of Larry Bird, he wanted Michael down in the post. It was kind of hard to play him in the pose. His hands are so quick. Brian Shaw has it off to the right. Here's Jordan, another steal. Up court to Horace Grant, and he'll beat Bird to the hoop for the layup. Parrish, lead pass stolen by Jordan, and there's seven. He's everywhere on defense, to be honest. Jump pass, Jordan, another steal. He's got a breakaway. Michael Jordan all the way to the hoop for the Tomahawk dunk. Nine steals for Michael. Nine steals. Lost it, picked up by Jordan Nugent. Curry up top. Oh my, them pass lanes in the... Curry hangs in the air, won't go for it. Gets another chance, that won't go, another one won't go. Jordan again. Playing big four, it's a lot of pressure on the guy. Jordan steals... Oh my goodness. Off to the racing. Yo, there was no passing the ball sloppy around this dude. Jordan was not having that urine. <laughs> Dawkins splits the double team, gives it to Barkley, who fouled from behind. Yes, sir. Johnny Dawkins with a great play here. Charles Barkley's surprise here. He thinks he's got the Tomahawk dunk, and Michael comes in from behind. Bro, that looked it clean. Nah, it was it was kind of it was kind of it was it was kind of rough. And the pass too long, and look at. Michael Jordan really confusing Barkley and the passer as to where he is. <laughs> three. Harper the rebound, Jordan is stripped. For their half court offense. Harper in on Paxson. Oh my goodness. 
Yo, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. The thing that surprised me the most is the fact that he was such an insane, not even like super above average post defender. Now, I'm not even talking about just the blocks. The blocks are insane alone. That vertical helped him get so many extra blocks. But also, he poked the ball out in the post. And not only poked the ball out, when he's not doing the blocks and poking the ball out, he also will like take it from them when they go to pass it in the post also like a different way of playing the pass lanes and not just running up and stealing it from a guard he's playing the pass lane in the post too it's really like hard to score on him no matter what level you're trying to score from and as a 6-6 six, six guard with the energy and the athleticism he has it's really not like in his prime like in the energy he had like the stamina there's really no scoring on him especially whenever he really in his mind wanted to lock in and lock you down there's no doubt he can lock down anybody in the nba like this defense is freaking insane like i don't like there's no guard i don't care drop it down anybody in the comments let me know if, what's your thoughts what's a guard that has that like that much post defense d wade d wade would get blocks who else I don't see nobody else in D-Wade. I don't even think it's, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's the best guard. Like, all around defense, yeah. But when it comes down to post defense, that's a whole different level. We be a guard playing that good of post defense on these seven-footers. He blocked um, Elijah Wan at least three, four, five times in this video. And I don't think he's done yet. Um, There's a level and there's a quality of defense. And, like, I don't care what nobody says. Like, he's, like... Possibly the best guard defender of all time. Like, not even guard defender, best defender. Like, because he's, he's doing it to bigs too. Not to say he can like shut down any big anytime, anywhere, but he can all he can play defense and get stops on a seven footer, like, and get blocks and actually be like, actually like an intimidator of, of sorts when it comes down to those type of plays. Not to be able to stop a seven footer every play because. It's not easy to do that, but honestly, you could put him on there and he could do the job. Like, that's insane coming from a shooting guard. Like, that's different, bro. Like, there's no guards that play that big. I don't know any. But drop it down in the comments if you know any other guards that play good post defense like this. I'm, that, that's just my thoughts. Let, but I can ramble on all day. Let's jump back into it. The, the prime example of post defense. Oh my goodness, he was dude was lazy with the ball. He he was lazy with the ball. Oh my goodness. And then he dunked on Duncan Robinson right after that. Kevin Johnson loses it to Showtime. He would get a lot of on-ball steals too, though. <laughs> Damn, him and Scotty Pippen, I ain't gonna lie, that was nasty to defend this together, bro. <laughs> on-ball block. <laughs> Chase down block. <laughs> Chase down is crazy. He was doing this before LeBron. <laughs> he got active hands under there. Real active hands. And then look, saved the rebound and everything. Offensive foul. That was crazy. Michael Jordan at one time for the fact that he did not play defense. All he did was come back the following season and wind up being named the best defensive player in the NBA. He shows you he can move his feet. Like That's what you do. Off the dribble. Criticized about not playing defense. He come back. He's the best defensive player in the league. Talk about I don't play no defense. Now nah, his offense is outshadowed with defense. Look at that. Blocks. Yo, he had so many freaking blocks. Did he have the most blocks as a guard or something? 
Oh. Look at that. Look at that great post defense. Man, that boy is him. He was the... He finishing that. Ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh, he hit him all in the face. The ball hit him in the face, though. He come back and by come get that. <laughs> yeah. See, he played defense. He come back and bounce. And that was just the body contact, to be honest. I felt like that was kind of clean. Yo, the recovery defense is crazy. Straight down into the midi. Collat? Oh my. Duncan Robinson. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. Oh. That's it. I love that. The, you got the turnover. Make sure you come back and play good defense. Woo! Crazy hustle. <laughs> Dude, he's block. The amount of blocks he's getting is just a blow in my mind, bro. What the? It's a different face they wear against the Heat. Yeah, well, everyone has been talking about messages except for the Bulls, but they're doing it right now. 40 points. Here is Get that weak. Out of here. Now watch Jordan come right in the middle of your picture, right? Get that weak shit out of here. Well, he's done big damage in the fourth quarter. Middles has it knocked away by Michael Jordan. Child's play. Child's play. Beat him to his own spot. Rose guarded by Jordan. Pippen over to help with eight on the shot clock. Slapped away by Jordan. And another steal. Michael. Malone is doubled. They oh. Out it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven. Or from Mr. Big Shot. Him. Oh. Mr. Big Shot. He. <laughs> That's the end of the video, guys. Look, man. I don't feel like it's. Honestly, there's no debate. Like, like, let's just be completely honest. LeBron, who, bro? Like, dude, it's number two, bro. That not for now, we're going to call him LeBron, who, because he's number two. John's number one, bro. Th three. Three inches shorter, maybe. 6'6 six, six to 6'8, six, 6'9 six, LeBron. I feel like Jordan actually plays better post defense than him. If I'm just the messenger, I'm just how I feel. You could be met. I feel like Jordan plays better post defense than LeBron on ball defense than LeBron. LeBron plays pretty defensive, pretty good off, off ball defense, but at the same time, Jordan plays great off ball defense. So if you had to just pick, we know for a fact that Jordan is a better offensive player. There's no question in my opinion. Now we know for a fact that I'm telling you he's a better defensive player. He's more clutch. There's no question about it. Zara's number one, bro. There's, he's better. He's better than LeBron. Like, it's nothing wrong with being number two. So we're going to just put LeBron as a firm number two. But I honestly feel like all around defender, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, and y'all let me know what y'all think. I don't feel like nobody was a better all-around defender than this dude. And maybe Giannis. 
Because Giannis can defend all positions. He could play a guard. That's the only person that I could really say when it came down to it. Let me know if I'm wrong. If there's anybody else, drop it down. You know what I'm saying? But Giannis, um, Tony Allen. But I don't think Tony Allen could guard a five. I don't think he was very well on the five, but he could he could do his thing. Uh, I think Jordan was a bit better defender than him. Um, Scotty Pippen, yeah, but yeah, that's give or take because uh, I I think Jordan was a better off ball defender than Scotty Pippen. Um, D Wade, um, I think D Wade did get a lot of blocks, but I think honestly Jordan was a better post defender. Now, when it came down to chase downs and getting actual blocks at the guard position, D-Wade was top tier at that. But when it came down to actual guarding in the post and just being a pure all-around defender, I think there's nobody that can beat him. Um, and honestly, he's number one, period. That like, come on, man, come on. Like, he, he was way, <laughs> he was been better than, than LeBron on offense. And now he got a well defense for sure after watching this. It's no question, y'all. But... No, I just I just say it. It is what it is, bro. Ain't no hard feelings, man. Number one, number two, it's both great, man. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, bro, I appreciate y'all walking with me on this one. Make sure y'all liking and subscribe and hit that post notification bell. I got a lot more coming, so uh, make sure if y'all ain't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button. Everyone subscribe accounts. I'm trying to get the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and you can be the one to help me reach my goal. But also, make sure y'all liking the video, because by liking the video, the way YouTube algorithm works, YouTube will show the video to more people, and you'll be directly helping me to grow. More people will find out about my content, and it will help me get more subscribers, so you can be directly helping your boy. I'm trying to do great things, man. It's time to pay some bills. Shouts out to Cash Nasty. I'm just here trying to be great, do great things. I hope we can do that together. Join the fam. I hope you know what it is. Until next time, I'm out to do.